there is a ta'wil, an interpretation of the hadith, the famous hadith, in which the Prophet ﷺ prophesied that the river Euphrates will uncover a mountain of gold, the people will fight for the gold, and 99 out of every 100 would be killed, and each would say, I am the one who would survive, but the believers must not touch that gold, so we are not in that war. I have interpreted it, and Allah knows best, that this prophecy was fulfilled in 1974 when Henry Kissinger was able to fool <laughs> King Faisal and get him to agree to sell Saudi oil for only US dollars. That is not a free and a fair market, Mr. Kissinger. You should be ashamed of yourself. Even with a mountain of gold, I cannot buy a barrel of oil. If I want to buy oil, I have to use only US dollars, which, number one, immunizes the US dollar from collapse, because oil is the largest commodity um, sold in the world market. And number two, allows the U.S. to now, the U.S. dollar to fly higher than ever before. This was the birth of the petrodollar. When an ocean of oil underneath the river began to function as a mountain of gold. I was able to make this interpretation, first of all, because I'm the graduate of an institute of in Islamic studies, where I taught, studied Quran and Hadith, but also because I went on to study international relations, in which I also had to study international monetary economics in two universities. But this is not taught in the Darul Loom. So our graduates have no way of interpreting this Hadith. And so the great war which is coming is not going to be fought over Ukraine over Korea, over Kashmir. The great war which is coming is going to be fought over the mountain of gold. Russia and China are now threatening. China is leading the way of threatening to demolish the petrodollar monetary system. And Russia is supporting China. If Russia was not supporting China, the Chinese are not powerful enough to threaten the petrodollar monetary system. But when China saw the Soviet Union collapse and Russia returning to her orthodox Christian heart, China knew that history is changing. The Soviet Union maintained hostile relations with China. But this Russia we can trust because the Orthodox Christian will never bend his knee to the Western Christian. So then began the process which has now culminated with the Russian-Chinese alliance, which is the most momentous event in modern history since the birth of modern Western civilization. When the war takes place, that will be the end of the petrodollar monetary system. But the world is going to be much smaller after the Great War. We know that this Ummah will survive the Great War. Because as soon as the Great War takes place, a Muslim army is going to emerge to conquer Constantinople. That's my book at the back, Constantinople in the Quran. Why? Would a Muslim army want to conquer Constantinople? What's the rationale? Answer? When you study and you connect the dots, then you know 
the reason why we have, we want to conquer Constantinople is so that we can return Hagia Sophia to the Christians and say, this is your cathedral. And apologize to them for what Sultan Muhammad Fatih did. Shamefully and disgracefully and manifestly sinfully and I thank Allah that I have the freedom to speak because I earn my livelihood as a writer. No one can fire me. Shamefully and disgracefully and manifestly sinfully to take the cathedral and transform it into a masjid. So who will we fight? Yes, the Muslim army will fight those who oppose returning the cathedral to the Christians. Those are the ones we fight. And when we defeat them and we conquer, conquer the city, the name of the city will be restored to the name that the Prophet used, alayhi And when that happens, that part of the world, the Orthodox Christian world, will form an alliance with us. And when that alliance takes place, Dr. Mira, wonderful opportunities will come for bringing back dinar and dirham in the market. Yes, once that, because a Muslim army being victorious, goodbye to this modern secular state system in the world of Islam. Because he praised the commander and he praised the army. So we are going to take control of territory tomorrow where we have control and we can bring back dinar and dirham and we'll have an Orthodox Christian world supporting us. That's a tomorrow that's coming, Dr. Mira.